Hi YouTube family, welcome to today's video which is going to be a hair tutorial. I had so many of you ask about how I was doing my hair now and give me compliments on it and thank you for all of those, I really do appreciate it. It is just a little bit time consuming but if you're looking for something where you really want to dress up for the day or you're even not sure how to get that beachy wave look, then I wanna show you today what I do. It's quite simple. So I'm gonna get into products. I'm also gonna get into what I use and how I style as well. And what's really cool about doing these beachy waves that I do is that you will have some bend to your hair the next day. And I just find that I can wear that second day hair no problem. So I wanna share that all with you. Okay, we're gonna start out with um, just showing you what I use for products. The first thing I'm gonna put in my hair is the Kenro Thermal Styling Spray, this firm hold, and it's heat activated. So that means that you're gonna get some protection from this product as you, as you put it into your hair or as you style your hair. And what you wanna do is you wanna get it all over. So this is to hold the curl in your hair. And when you first start spraying this, I just want you to lift and go underneath a lot so that all of the hair can get completely coated with the spray. And then you're gonna let that dry for just a second because what we're gonna do next is we're actually gonna comb that out. So it would feel really stiff if you just you know touched it right now. It's gonna feel really stiff, like you definitely have product in there. But that is the need, is that you need to have that product in there in order for it to keep the curl. My hair is fine and it is stick straight. Even though I do have a lot of it right now, it is very, very straight. And I did use this, um, this is called Thicket Cream. I'm not sure how to say this. It's L-A-N-G-E. So it's La Ange. I think that's how you say that, but I'm not sure. I'm actually trying out quite a few products from them. This one is really nice. Like a dime size does my long, thick hair. So just remember if you do decide to get this to go easy on it. I know they were having a sale on products um, and I picked up a bunch of them. And then this one is their root booster. I did use this in my hair before I blew my hair dry. All you do with this one, if you can see there's a directing nozzle on there and you just lift sections and spray one spray and then rub it in. And it gives your hair a lot of lift at the root. And so I use that and then I also use their heat shield on my ends before I blew I blew my hair dry or blow my hair dry. And so I just wanted to make sure that I mentioned those to you because those are the products that I put in my hair to blow it dry even though I let it like probably 75% dry on its own. I at the very end I put and it's still damp. I put those products in there and I do go ahead and blow my hair dry upside down. But I did sleep on it last night, so it doesn't have a lot of volume. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start by picking up this hair right here. So I'm taking my top layer of hair and I left a bunch down. Can you see how much I left down? I'm going to be doing a fairly loose beachy wave today. What, how this works is whatever you pick for a curling iron, I'm using a one inch Hot Tools actual curling iron that has the spring on it and the clip on it there. Um, I love this tool. I have the one and a quarter. I don't have any other sizes, but I like it because it's the ceramic titanium. And what it does is it delivers those ions or negative ions or whatever to your hair to have your hair draw the, or draw the moisture and keep your hair sleek and shiny. So there's minimal damage with this. But I like to make sure that my hair is protected from the damage with other products like what I just showed you. So what happens with this size of a barrel is if I take smaller pieces, I'm gonna get a much tighter curl. Today, I'm not gonna be taking smaller pieces. I'm gonna be taking bigger pieces because I want to have a little bit looser of a curl. So you're just gonna pick up the hair however much you think you should. You will probably have to experiment with this a couple times to get it to be where you want it to be. So I'm gonna clamp that hair pretty close to my scalp at the very end and I'm just gonna start twisting. And I'm just gonna start twisting. And you can see this hair right here is still left out. I'm not gonna take it clear to the end because I want a tiny bit of that hair right there at the end. I'm hoping you guys can see all that left out so that it can be kind of straight on the ends. 
and then I'm gonna just do this same. Now I'm curling this hair backwards towards oh. the back. I do that all the way until the middle of the back there. I've got a straggler right here I need to pick up. And then I will do that on this side as well. And like I said, I'm kind of going for a pretty loose curl here. I'm not going for a really tight curl like I had the other day. But again, you just take it towards your scalp, towards the top of the barrel, twist it so that that hair on the bottom starts coming around. Keep twisting it until you feel that this hair down here is the length you want it to be. I leave it about an inch out, I guess, I should say. And forgive me for not looking at the camera as much as I should. So with this hair right here, again, I'm gonna let down some more. And I will be doing about, I would say, about three to four rows of letting my hair down and then curling it, letting my hair down, and then curling it. The other thing that kind of helps when you do this is if you pull this forward, that curl is going to kind of come forward and frame your face a little bit. So I do that a lot. So I'm pulling that curl forward, catching it by the scalp, twisting it until I have about an inch left out, and then letting it go. And again, I'm not leaving it in there for a long time. You can leave it in there for longer. And when I want a tighter curl, I do leave it in there for longer. Um, just don't burn your hair. <laughs> don't leave it in there very long, because I have this um, curling iron turned up all the way because my hair is really, because my hair really struggles with um, getting, keeping a curl and that piece does not want to cooperate. So I'm going to put it behind there. Sometimes when I'm doing this, I actually lose the grip of the hair in the curling iron. And when you do that, you can go ahead and um, go back and grab the, the curl again if you need to. I'm just going to do this one separate, that teeny one because it doesn't want to cooperate. And then again, on this side, I'm pulling forward and that's gonna help to frame my face a little bit. Okay, now on this one, I'm just gonna let all this hair fall. This is all my crown hair up here. And then I'm gonna take all of my forward hair or all of my hair that is on my forehead, I should say. And I'm going to just put that into a clip. And then I'm just going to continue to curl it just exactly the way that I showed you before all the way around this part. Start at the top and then twist, release and twist, release and twist until your hair starts to come around where you want it to. Okay, so I'm going to show you on this big piece right here what you want to do. This is thicker piece and it's wider, like, like this wide. So I'm gonna just divide it in two by the bottom part, and I'm gonna do that bottom part first. And it's still a lot of hair in there, so it's still gonna give me a bigger curl, but if I had put the other one in, it would've had a really hard time curling. I'm gonna take that other part, which still feels a little bit fat to me, so I'm gonna take some of the back of it out there and I'm gonna throw it back. You will get a feel of this as you go along and as you do your own hair. A few times you'll get a feel for it. It's not a difficult hairstyle. Like I said, it's just time consuming and it's a learning process too. Like there, the curling iron just let loose of that curl and it's one of my top ones. I don't want it to not be curled. So I'm gonna make sure I go back in, grab it a little bit tighter and let it set. letting down this bang part of my hair. And I'm gonna start back here. So I have my part that I did make when I blew my hair dry. So I kind of wanna hold to that part and keep that. This side is going to be a lot less full 
um, a lot less curls on that side than there is on the other one. I've got this all over in my lip gloss and in my nose and it drives me crazy. I usually have it all pinned back. Okay, I'm doing the same exact thing that I did before, but right up here, I'm not going to keep that curl in as long um, because I don't want it to be as pronounced as the other curls. So it's a little bit bigger. I'm just kind of just bending it is more what I'm doing than anything. Um, but I'm definitely not keeping that curl in for very long at all. Plus, I'm gonna just kind of touch it with my fingers to just get more of the heat out of it so it doesn't continue to curl. And now I'm gonna start with this top part and pick up about the same as we were picking up everywhere else. And again, I want you to pull this hair forward. And when we put it in the curling iron, it's gonna be pulled forward on our head. And this one I'm gonna put in and leave in for the um, the full amount of time because I do want this one curled nicely and then this one right here I'm going to do in twos like I did the other one and again, I am just Bending this I know I've been looking down a lot through this video. I'm sorry, but Their mirror is right below the camera. Okay, so we've got our hair all done So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a medium hold hairspray. This is Kenra number 13. This is their perfect medium spray. It's going to help with the curl that we've already gotten so we don't lose it through the day. So I'm just going to spray this all over the curl. This is going to end up being a little bit more bouncy than I wanted it to be. But, but you'll definitely get to see those beachy waves. Okay, at this point, please don't ever put a comb or a brush in your hair. Because when you do, what's going to happen is you're going to brush that curl out. And the other thing you want is you want a piecey look. So you don't want it to be brushed out. So basically, I just start and I just run my fingers through it just a little bit. I'm not going to do a lot here. I'm just kind of separating the curls and letting them fall where they want to. And that's the beauty of having beachy waves is they don't have to look perfect at all. Just run your fingers through there and just get them pieced apart and just keep doing that all the way around until you feel like you've got that hair all kind of separated a little bit. Okay, and then on the front, same thing. You're gonna just kind of go through each individual curl a little bit more than you did on the sides because on the sides all we did was we just kind of pulled on it. Okay, so I want you to see how this looks right now. It looks okay right now, but what I'm gonna do, we're like really not got any volume right here. Limp, fine, whatever you wanna call it. So if I take this curl right here in my hand and I flip it over to the other side, what's gonna happen is now all those curls are going backwards and they are instantly lifted by that. So they went the opposite direction and that's what gives it so much lift right there. Now, if you feel like there's any place in there that you want more lift, like I kinda want some more lift right through here. So I have a comb that has like a pick on the end of it. Um, so I'm just gonna lift that up and I'm just gonna pick through that. See how thin my hair is right through there? but I'm just gonna pick through that to give it a little bit more body and I'm gonna do some back combing with that pick in order to give just a little bit more body. I don't want too much, I just want a bit, but I still wanna retain this particular curl right here and continue to try and separate and give definition to all these other curls. Okay, last step. I'm gonna use my Kenra 25. I love Kenra so much, you guys, you know I do. I'm gonna use my Kenra 25 and wherever I want that curl to stay or that volume to stay, I'm gonna spray it and I'm gonna pick it up with my fingers a little bit. Kenra 25 is my holy grail hairspray. I absolutely love it. It is just one of those hairsprays that I have used forever and ever, and it never fails me. This will be my style for the rest of the day for sure, and probably for a couple of days. So there you have it, guys. I hope that you can see all of it. I hope that you liked this tutorial. So I hope it was helpful. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber here. Hit the bell notification. Don't forget to do that, everybody, so that you can be notified of the future videos that I might be having. You guys are the best part of my day. Thank you so much again for watching and I will talk to you in my very next video. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.